Now, I've got a letter here from, yes, from the Electoral Commission of New South Wales. Oops, yes, the Elector Geolocation System. Obviously, from now on, they're going to get uh, satellite pictures, and apparently they're using Google. They're using uh, Google Maps, of all things, not some private thing. They're using Google Maps. The Electoral Commission of New South Wales is going to have an elector geolocation system. It's one of the most stupid letters from a government department I've ever received in my life. It opens a gentle reminder, please up update your geocode, that we've never had a geocode before. And they're saying, calling it a gentle reminder. Please update. How can I date, update something which I've never had in the first place, which I've never dated in the first place? How can I be reminded of something that I've never had in mind in the first place? And their term gentle, I have a problem with that. I have written back to the uh, Electoral Commission uh, Director of Enrolment, Paul Bieren. Here is how it goes. Paul Bieren, Director of Enrolment, New South Wales Electoral Commission. Dear Mr. Bieren, Today I received a letter and form from you, which was all very distressing. I will outline all the many problems I have with your letter and form, point by point, below. Gentle reminder is what you head your letter with. Well, in point of actual fact, you have not sent either my partner or myself any previous letter whatsoever about geocode. So one cannot be reminded of something one was never minded with in the first place. Then there's your term gentle. Does that mean uh, you are going to get heavy, get heavy hereafter? If so, how big and butch you must feel. There seems to be an implicit threat in your letter, which I find distinctly distasteful and unpleasant, as if I am guilty of something before I have even done anything. As if I am guilty of something before I have even done anything, yes. You say, please update your geocode. This is all quite ridiculous, too, for, as you well know, I have never yet in my entire life filled out a geocode. I cannot update what has never yet been dated in the first place. To expect me to do so is quite ludicrous, unreasonable, and illogical. You say in your third paragraph that I may complete that I may, yes, that I may complete the geocoding. You do not say that I must complete the geocoding. In the fourth paragraph, you once again refer to update. As I said above, I have never ever done a geocode in my life, so I cannot update what was never dated in the first place. Now, this is page two. I'm sure if you're from New South Wales, you'd be very interested in this letter. In the fourth paragraph also you say, if convenient. Well, no, it's not convenient. As a, as a matter of fact, it's not convenient. In the fifth paragraph you say, if possible, if possible, complete the attached form. Yes, if, if possible, complete the attached form. This is, of course, quite ridiculous. I cannot and won't complete the attached form save for my signature, because I do not wish to use the internet. I do not would like to assist. I do not know the coordinates. You say in your attached pamphlet that you have provided me with the option to select your preferred means of contact by the electoral commission, that is, email, telephone, or SMS, close inverted commas. Does this mean that you are refusing to correspond with people by traditional snail mail? If so, you should make it perfectly clear in this pamphlet that you are forcing people to use electronic means of correspondence only, whether they like it or not. As a matter of preference, <laughs> as a matter of preference, if you must contact me about any matters herein, I hope you will put it all down in writing for me, in snail mail, as I like to keep written records should I be obliged to make complaints to the Human Rights Commission's Privacy Commissioner and the New South Wales Council for Civil Liberties about this matter. Your pamphlet mentions that they got legal, they got all legalistic, so here I am getting legalistic back. Your pamphlet mentions that under the New South Wales Parliamentary Electorates and Elections Act 1912, 
The New South Wales Electoral Commission is able to request information from all New South Wales residents in order to determine their electoral status. I continue now, listen. This is all well and good, but I am, con uh, but I am concerned only with what I must answer by law, not with what I may answer or would like to answer or with what is convenient to answer. I don't wish to use the internet. I don't like to assist you. I don't know coordinates. Hmm, now the final bit. I am concerned only with the rights and responsibilities. That's what everyone says nowadays, rights and responsibilities. I am concerned only with the rights and responsibilities expected of me, and your commission as well, under the New South Wales Parliamentary Electorates and Elections Act 1912. I am not interested in wishing or liking or knowing. I am concerned only with what information I must provide to you, and nothing else. Nowhere in the Electoral Commission New South Wales form, your brainchild, the fruit of your mentality, you have provided me with to fill out, does it say, I must fill in the information. It only mentions if I would like to assist, and if you know, well, I don't like, and I don't know. If there is information that I must, by law, provide to you, then you had better provide a new form telling me what I must answer. Please publish, please publish a new form forthwith, couched, of course, in more sensible and logical language, and I will fill in anything that must be filled in. Otherwise, I shan't trouble myself any further with this matter. If you or your staff wish to contact me about this matter, I will rehash all the above facts over and over and over again for you, if necessary. That is, I only want to know what I must tell you. But I prefer to have it all in writing, thank you. So please recouch, reprint and refurnish me with a new updated and non-scatterbrained version of your form. It cannot be filled out in its present defective state. If you need help in redrafting and recouching your form, so that it does indeed make sense, I am sure the New South Wales Attorney General's legal staff will be only too happy to assist you in this. And I sign it yours sincerely. And you might note that I said the same thing over and over again a couple of times to help get it through to the person. Yes, to the, uh, yes, the Director of Enrolment. I presume the, the letter written by him to everybody was his brainchild, the fruit of his mentality. On the form that I'm supposed to fill out for the Electoral Commission, where it says, if you do not wish to use the internet, I say, I don't wish. Where it says, if you would like to assist us by providing extra contact data, I've said, I don't like. If you know the coordinates of your residence, I've said, I don't know. Again, where it said, if you would like to assist us by providing extra contact data, I've said, I don't like. If you know the contents of your residence, I've, uh, your residence from a GPS unit, I've said I don't know, and, I, and then I've signed it. It's one of the most ridiculous, stupid, idiotic, poorly couched government forms and letters I've ever had in my entire life. And then there's the civil liberties matter. I mean, so they're going to connect us now. They're going to connect all electors uh, to this big satellite data database using Google Images. And ostensibly, it's so that they can tighten up on uh, electoral, you know, fraud, etc., etc. They also claim it'll be used by emergency services, but nobody else. But it sounds to me, with functional creep being what it is, uh, Big Brother will eventually take over, and we'll probably have to wear wristbands, <laughs> and uh, so that uh, Big Brother will know where we are on the planet all the time with their, what is it, geolocation system. It's ostensibly an elected geolocation system, but ultimately it will be for everybody. It's just like if you go to the vet now, your cat or your dog is supposed to have an implant, a barcode implanted in them, a, a silicon chip put in. In the end, we'll all have silicon chips, won't we? We will. We'll all have silicon chips and we'll all be expected to be monitored by some satellites. There'll be a whole lot of satellites monitoring us, and that's what's coming. If you don't resist people like this, people who are inclined to, uh, well, 
I shan't use the word fascism, but it's in that direction, taking over and trying to control you, trying to control and watch your every move. Well, you have to be, you know, yes, you, these people have to be resisted. And that's what I'm doing. That's why I wrote such a letter to this person. So that.